I've been shooting really well to start NBA 2K25, and it's all thanks to my knowledge on the new shooting settings and features, along with, of course, this jump shot I've found. I mean, I'm greening almost impossible shots on 2K25. So let's go ahead and teach you about the new best shooting settings, the new shooting features, and of course, give you this jump shot I've been using to start 2K25. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the jump shot I found after testing out a couple other jump shots and i have had the most success with this jump shot by far so far and it is what i think is the best jump shot in 2k25 until we unlock those other animations maybe at starter four okay now i've been absolutely cooking with this jump shot you are watching gameplay of this jump shot on your screen right now i was on the threes with this jump shot i was on the twos with this jump shot and i was going crazy now i personally have an 89 three-pointer on this build with silver shooting badges outside of set shot specialist now you can get this jump shot in any build with an 84 mid-range or an 84 three-pointer or higher uh, and if you don't have that, I'm going to be dropping a video soon on the best jump shot for all three point ratings and builds. But look at this. I mean, I'm doing all types of stuff. I'm doing go to shots. I'm doing shots off step backs. I'm either shooting heavies over Joe Nodes, like right there where I fall on the ground. I mean, it said open, but clearly this jump shot can shoot over people. I mean, I just shot that, fell to the ground, and it said open. So this jump shot is not only easy to time, but you can literally shoot over defenders with it. Not only that, look at this clip right here. I shoot a heavy, go to the ground, and I still make it. So you can time contested shots with this jumper too. Look at, I'm getting hugged in the corner, and I'm getting green animations out the corner with light contested shots. Now, not only that, but if you do have, depending on what takeover you have at level five, takeover ability, you can shoot from super deep with this jump shot as well. And like I said, I mean, you can time yellows with it. You can shoot fades too. I don't have any fade clips in here, but I was shooting with Kevin Durant dribble pull up with his jump shot too. And that was working as well. And bro, I'm telling you, we have another, we're going to show a full gameplay of how this jump shot like makes the defender really think on how to guard you with certain builds, especially if you're an ISO build. You see all your quick stopping with the jumper. I'm back fading for almost half court with takeover with this jump shot. I mean, yo, it's a good jump shot, bro. It's easy to time. Now, if you're wondering what settings I use with the jump shot, I do use high profile setting and I do use push, but we're going to go over those settings later in the video. Now, this is a full gameplay of Mo Buckets and uh, a 2K League Pro pulling up bear the beast uh if you know anything about him he has won a 2k league 5v5 championship before has a lot of iq right so if at first mo buck is guarding me you know we take it to now i know this is a jump shot video but this is to show how the defender is gonna have to think when he starts seeing me you know pull out with all these greens making these shots and it's just like gonna make your build you know harder to guard when you have this jump shot equipped because they know you can shoot so they can't sag off they play up you take the dunk so we start off taking three or, or a couple different twos right here and then we get a little snatch back he's leaving me open that's green you can't leave this jump shot open okay and then we they go ahead and switch the 2k league player on me and guess what we get wide open that's green and by the way that was a midi and i had like a 60 or no like a 40 mid range at this time because i hadn't upgraded that yet on my build but guess what it doesn't matter because if you time this jump shot right you're gonna get the green right so i take another one uh dunk right there so now it's 13 to 8 i just shoot some stuff from half court like i'm just bsing around and that was my only missed jump shot of the entire game and right here we shoot another three for game and just like that i mean we score in almost every single play off of iso so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the settings for nba 2k 25 shooting now this is actually a really important part of the video like i know a lot of people are just going to click on this video look at the jump shot copy the jump shot but like the settings are might be actually more important than the jump shot to be honest and we have to talk about it okay now but usually in past years you go to the settings and you can see like turn off or on your shot feedback but that's not even under the settings anymore and a lot of people are confused on where you turn off your beater and all that good stuff we're gonna explain all that but first let's go to the controller settings so the first thing we got to talk about is shot timing profile there's uh real player percentage for offline difficulty based for offline and then there's the online ones low risk reward normal risk reward and high risk reward so low risk reward your green window is gonna be super small but you're gonna make or be able to make whites right and you're gonna make a little more of them right now i've played against players that have had this setting on and they sh they're not gonna shoot very good they're gonna shoot like 30 maybe 40 percent 
um they're gonna yeah they're gonna make like 30 per 40 percent of their jump shots so unless you're like a really bad player like really bad player then i would not recommend to have that setting on at all normal risk reward is like a little in the middle but like honestly if you have this on you're not gonna be making a lot of whites anyways so you may as well go high risk reward which is going to give you the biggest green window possible, but you're not going to make any white. So it's basically green or miss, but your green window is going to be a lot bigger. So I would highly recommend, especially if you want to get good at this game, put on high risk reward shot timing profile. Now it's up to you whether what you want to do with the layup timing profile. Just know if you do put high risk reward on layup timing profile, you have to time all your layups. Even if it's wide open, you have to time it or you're going to miss it. Now moving down, we got the shot timing visual cue. Now you can actually adjust this in the custom jump shot uh maker and we'll go over that later in the video but yeah i mean this is the same thing from last year we got jump set point push release um i'm gonna probably make another video going into depth on what these things mean i'll probably make like a how to shoot video or something uh but yeah it's the same thing from last year uh basically jump is like at the time the shot when you know the player's jumping set point when your player's like set to shoot the shot push when your player's pushing the ball out of his hands and then release after your player releases the ball right so you can kind of select whichever one that you'd like i would recommend push or release 100 percent i don't think jump and set point are gonna be as consistent you know you might be good with jump right now you might be good with set point right now but i'm telling you if you adjust a push or release you're going to be better it's just a mathematical fact that you're gonna be able to have more time to read and react to the animation and jump shot you're getting to be able to time your jump shot with push and release and it's just as simple as that so you, you have an advantage with push and release because of that um anyways there's not really any other shooting sending settings under here now what you're gonna want to do though is you're gonna want to go ahead and go over to animations and then if you scroll all the way over to customize hud this is where you can adjust 95 percent of your shooting settings so you obviously you got like the perfect release animation and sound effects visibility all shots you want to make sure that's on all shots not just users so you can see your opponents and stuff you're gonna change the sound effect where this animation is at the actual graphic you can change your player indicator but most importantly your shot meter this is where you take your shot meter off now if you guys didn't know you do get a green bonus for taking your shot meter off so make sure you take it off bro if you don't if you're shooting with the meter still in 2024 you gotta adjust bro you gotta take it off you know you gotta take the the training wheels off the bicycle bro you gotta lock in and adjust to learning how to shoot without the meter because this is an advantage um so yeah make sure to go ahead and do that and just adjust a bunch of other things but one other thing you're gonna want to do is go to your shot feedback now if you do want to have instant greens you can go to uh simple and that'll give you instant greens but i low-key prefer all shots and having the late green because because you're going to be able to see whether your shot was tight contested or whatever or open or wide open um not only when you shoot the ball but when your opponent shoots the ball and you're also gonna be able to see like the slightly er early slightly late excellent under the same exact spot on the bottom left of your screen so i feel like it just gives you more information on the shots that you are shooting which is obviously going to help you adjust after missing a shot or making a shot or taking a bad shot or taking a good shot so i think it's something to note and i would highly recommend putting this visibility shot feedback on all shots now there's a couple other things you can edit in here but other than that i mean those are really all the settings that you need to know and how to access them and yeah make sure you guys know all that make sure you guys do change your settings because they are very important on 2k25 so there's two things we're going to go over here in the my core how to practice your jump shot really in here and also a new feature which is rhythm shooting and the my core is in the city it's by the jason tatum mural you know when you make your first my player you do spawn in here now something to note is when you do get on the court if you click start and you look at the bottom right there is actually a gameplay difficulty slider that you could adjust so right now i'm shooting around and it is on this city difficulty so if you are playing city park then yeah practice on this difficulty or if you go back and you're playing ranked pro-am practice on that difficulty rec practice on that difficulty rank 3v3 practice on that difficulty right now obviously you know maybe if you, you maybe you do play rec but you want to practice on the harder difficulty and guess what go ahead and do that practice on the ranked pro-am harder difficulty and adjust to that 
that way when you're you go back into the wreck you know what i'm saying you your green window is bigger it's easier for you after practicing all those shots like on a harder difficulty right now not only that but there's also a bunch of drills that you can do as well so i would recommend just getting a bunch of shots up in here practicing your jump shot especially if you are putting on a new jump shot it's good to go in here adjust the difficulty and just get some shots up or if you're changing your settings like push jump or release it's definitely good to hop into the my court and go ahead and try to look for your cues to release your button and kind of learn your settings and jump shot all at the same time especially if you're like new to taking off your meter definitely going to want to practice in your my court with your jump shot now outside of practicing let's go over this new feature called rhythm shooting so they actually added something that you can actually increase your green window even more. So you guys know how if you take off your shot meter, you can uh, get a bigger green window boost. Well, well, now there's something called rhythm shooting that gives you even more of a bigger green window. So if you pull down on the right stick and then release the right stick as soon as you want to release it, then that will trigger rhythm shooting. So I go down and I release up that's a rhythm shooting shot and how you know it's a rhythm shooting shot is at the top you saw there was a push timing and a tempo timing because with rhythm shooting there's two timings there's the tempo timing which is how fast i release the right stick from bottom to or from down up and then there's the push timing to when i release up um based off like my timing of my jump shot so you kind of have to adjust to it you know obviously i'm on high profile settings so if i don't time one of them right i'm gonna miss it so I like to call it double greens. You have to double green it to make it with rhythm shooting. And if you learn how to do this, you are going to be a much better shooter in NBA 2K25. Now, personally, I'm only a couple days into 2K25, so I really haven't gotten used to like, you know, dribbling around and then shooting a rhythm shooting shot because I feel like that's a lot harder. You know, it's kind of awkward. Like, oh, you're dribbling around with the right stick and then randomly now you got to shoot up down up with the right stick like, it's kind of awkward right but what i will say is rhythm shooting is very easy to adjust to when it comes to just catch and shoots if you are a spot up player that shoots a lot of catch and shoot shots you should be practicing this rhythm shooting stuff first in the my court and then online a hundred percent because if you master this on catch and shoots you are going to be 10 times the player 10 times the shooter when it comes to whatever build you're using to spot up with, whether it's a center, uh, a lockdown, a shooting guard, whatever it might be, even a point guard, and you get and you get a catch and shoot shot. I'm a point guard, and every if I'm getting a catch and shoot wide open shot, I'm gonna shoot with rhythm shooting because I know it's a better chance of going in. So you know, I'll talk about this more maybe I had a shoot video, but just know that that feature is in the game because I know there's a lot of people that don't even know that's in the game, and it can increase your green window. So if you're trying to learn it. Go ahead go to the my court test it out see if you like it see if you're willing to you know mess around with it and maybe try to adjust to it online and let me know how it ends up working out for you in the comments now going to the actual jump shot i've been using i started with jt thor base and it just wasn't consistent for me i would love to get tracy mcgrady base but i i'm not gonna be able to unlock or no one's gonna be able to unlock tracy mcgrady base until i think what starter four when you unlock the extra animations that's where i think i'm going to unlock that but a lot of people are never going to get there anyways so i ended up finding a really good jump shot that you guys were seeing in all of those clips and yeah i made this jump shot in the jump shot creator we're going to go ahead and make it again for you guys right here so basically for the default base you're going to go ahead and choose my boy torian prince now he has a very good base now i'm gonna show you guys the releases as well now technically you can change the releases up because the releases aren't really gonna change what, how good or bad this shot is it's gonna just change how it visually looks to kind of help you make it easier on your eyes to know when to time the jump shot and i feel like these two releases are the best releases that do that right and uh the first release we're gonna do is oscar robertson and the second release i'm gonna be doing is sadiq bay i'll be using i'll use the, these releases in 2k24 i'm using them in 2k25 now before we get into the visual cue we're gonna go ahead and max out the release speed you always want your jump shot to be as fast as possible so then it's harder for the def defender to you know get that late get that late close out get that late contest so they can't contest it and it makes them having you know respect your jump shot more and you know spread the defense out a little more 
Now, when it comes to the animation blending, you're going to want to do 60% Oscar, 40% Sadiq Bey. Now, going back to the visual cue, to be honest, if you're just used to like your already set point push, release, or jump, I would just go exactly on that. But if you do want to mess around with like something in the middle, then go ahead, mess around with it in the my court, see if you like it. But for me, I have it just exactly on push because that's what I'm used to. Maybe later in the year, I'll mess around with one of the other ones. But I, I don't really see myself doing that. I'm really used to push. So I went ahead and went with that. And this is the jump shot I have been using for 2K25 to start the year. And it's been absolutely amazing. Every time I stream with this jump shot, everybody in the chat is spam asking for the jump shot. So here it is. If you guys want me to provide jump shots for every single three-point rating, every single build, let me know in the comments. I can drop a video on that. And I'm probably also going to drop a video on how to shoot completely in depth, complete, a huge tutorial really going in depth on how to shoot on 2k25 but if this video did help you out at all let me know in the comments section and if you guys have any other good jump shots you want to suggest in the comments go in the comments section suggest them because if this jump shot doesn't end up working for you for whatever reason maybe you can go in the comments and find the jump shot for you but yeah make sure to subscribe to the channel it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace